some wide egg noodles. We're gonna put about six ounces in the bottom of a greased nine by 13 dish. Mm -hmm. And we're making a tuna casserole. So we're going to now take a five ounce can of tuna. Mm -hmm. It said white albacore. And we're going to distribute this can of tuna. This is a tuna noodle casserole. Have y'all had this before? Cause it's new to us. Yeah, but yeah. My um, wife actually made it as a kid, so. Yeah, she, I think y'all, they liked it. They actually did like it. Now we need some peas, mm -hmm. frozen peas. Just get them out of your freezer. Mm -hmm. Just dribble a few down there. Now you're going to take some mushrooms. Mm -hmm. You like mushrooms. Drained. Just, yeah, I drained them. We're just gonna toss a few, whoop, in there. Are these shiitake or hitake? They're called this, Dutchman. Okay. Now you're going to take and make a liquid for all so of this. So we're moving this forward. We're gonna get our bowl. We're gonna take four ounces of cream cheese mm -hmm. with two and a half cups of chicken broth. Three fourths cup heavy whipping cream. Half a cup of sour cream. Okay, okay. And then um, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I think I gave you just a little bit more than a tablespoon. That's right, I love right. Dijon. Yes. And a little thing of two scallions chopped up. We actually picked these straight out of our front yard. Yeah, you probably need to go pick some more out there. That's <laughs> what you need to do. Next. Okay, so it's four cups and ends up being, you're gonna pour half of it on top of this layer. So two cups, mm -hmm. looks good. a little good. bit more. Yep. Okay, now set that aside mm -hmm. and put a cup of cheddar cheese on there that we shredded. We shredded this straight from a block, so you could actually call this off the block. Yeah, they say it's better, the it's, wax. Material. They say it's better off the block because they put that wax stuff to keep it Correct. good longer. So we started buying some block cheese and do it. Now you're gonna do your second layer. So we take more noodles. More noodles. Here we go with our rest of our noodles. Mm -hmm. You might want to just take your hand and compact it. Oh, girl, a little you bit. got your nails did? My lord, no, I did not. Oh. Yeah, they are growing out a little bit. Yeah, they are. They need to be done. What do we do next? Peas. Oh. Then we're going to take the rest of our mushrooms. Ooh. And then we top it off with some tuna. Now, this is albacore tuna, so it's a little better for you, I guess? Uh, yes, I believe so. Who, who's the albacore and why was he named it? Why is this tuna named after I'm him? not sure. We probably could look on this cane here if you would like to look. Maybe later. That's a little bit fine print for my eyes. I can't even see that. No, that's what I'm saying. It's, okay, once you've got your tuna on there, now you're gonna take the final two cups, pour it all over. Sheesh, Kim, that looks kind of gross, but we're going to try it. We're well, trying this for y'all. Yeah, it's, it's going to be. Covered gonna, or uncovered? We're going to cover it Uh huh. and cook it. For... Okay, now we're going to cover it with the window full. You're going to save that last cup of cheddar cheese mm -hmm. until after we get it out from the baking. you got to put it in there a dip twice. 40 minutes. 40 minutes, so we're gonna take this and bake it for 40 minutes. Oh, it looks pretty. It smells good. Mm. Okay. Looks like just enough juice to get those noodles all good. Tuna, yeah. tuna noodle casserole, folks. All right, let's try this thing. We let it cool for a while to make sure it was, uh, you know, Actually edible, but we got a little bite of everything right here. Noodles are cooked. Tuna noodle has to roll. <laughs> what did you say? Some a little crunchy in it, but. That's probably that noodle on top. Besides that, honestly, it's pretty good.